Hello, I'm Trent, aka O Trademark here. The new unit in Anime Adventures update 7.5 is Julius, as you see right here. I already spent 15,000, well, 16,000 gems going for him. Didn't get him. Now, this is the second banner he's actually been in. And this one has both Julius and Yuno, know, which Yuno know is the best heal unit in the game. And I don't have him yet. I spent like a lot of gems on him as well. I've had really awful luck this time around. Uh, I doubt I get it here because I only have enough to afford uh, three pulls. But the thing is... Oh, well. Well, we'll hope for the best. We did get five brooks out of our haunted stars, which is absolutely insane. In fact, I opened 30 extra haunted stars today and got two brooks, which is pretty crazy because because that's a one in 400 chance. And uh, I got two in 30. But getting lucky when you don't need something is just kind of a feel bad moment. The th units that I do need, all of the Black Clover units, I've really struggled to get uh, so far. I've only got Luck, Asta, and Noel. Still looking for that Yuno, you know, still looking for that Yami, and still looking for that. Okay, just really quickly, this is why I hate the special banner, okay, guys? The special banner only means more mythics, as in mythics in the entire game. If you're looking for the meta mythics, the mythics which, which is featured, it's the exact same chance, right? Do, do you understand why I'm saying that? I, I don't think people understand just how, how big of a rip this new special banner is. Your mythic chance is doubled, but then it's halved for the featured mythic. So your chance is actually... Your chance of getting this of Julius and your chance of getting uh, uh, whatever the Tokyo Ghoul guy is, I forget his name, Arima or whatever, is, is actually the same. And once you use a luck boost, it's actually worse. Okay, look at this. My chance is 0.562% and then 50% of that to get Julius. So my chance is actually like 0.2, uh, you know, like 0.228-ish, somewhere around there, right? 0.28% is around my percent chance to get Julius. But my chance of getting Arima is actually 0.31% because I'm using a boost. The standard banner is actually better. I wish that these units were in the standard banner because if you're only going for one thing, the standard banner is better. Now I am going for Julius and Yuno. Know, it just, but basically what that says is I got a mythic, but I got the 40% chance of getting mythic that I didn't want rather than the 40% chance of getting either of the two that I wanted, which feels horrible. Like, it feels horrible to get eyes in there when I just want you know or uh, or Julius. Anyways, I don't want to talk too much about the freaking this scam banner. I hate it. I absolutely loathe that banner. I What I did want to talk about was Julius. I have the stats for you guys on Julius as a unit. I, even though I've gotten horrendously lucky, this lucky SOB over here, this guy right here, I hate him so much. He gets so lucky in every other day. <laughs> he has gotten three Juliuses. Yes, I said that correctly. He opened for Julius. He's like, oh, I got one. Oh, I got another. Oh, that is my third one. So he is extremely lucky here. We're going to go into Legend Stage 3 where he's trying to evolve his uh, Juliuses. So let's get it started. Well... The Legend Stage 3 is, is loading. Let's talk about Julius's stats here. So here's Julius. Uh, his evolved form is called Wizard King. So he is a one cap unit. In other words, you can only place one of Julius down. And the reason why that's very important is because he's kind of like, well, he's the highest damaging unit in the game i guess if you're not really including like the uh, summons like like aaron but because you can only place one his potential as a uh as a full placement is actually quite lower than the something like uh the other units in the game so he costs 151,000 uh to max out entirely when he's evolved and he does 110,000 uh, damage approximately at that point depending on your, your stats it might be a little bit higher a little bit lower which is 13.84 thousand dps i mean that's insane 
14,000 DPS is like the highest in the game by far. The second highest is uh, Dark Asta at only 9,000. So he's much higher DPS. But like I was saying, going back to it, because you can only place one, it's actually not that great. If you think about it, it costs 151,000 to max out to get the 14K DPS versus Asta. Let's go up here to Dark Asta. Dark Asta only costs 59,000. 59,000 to max and he does 9k dps so if you put down three astas they would be doing significantly more than uh they would be doing a lot more than your julius for a lot basically for a lot less you would pay 59,000, or you would essentially pay 120,000 to get 18k dps out of two dark astas versus 100 and uh you know 51,000 for 14 dps from julius and then if you if you went all the way to the third you would you would only pay 180,000 basically to get three dark astas who would be pumping out like 27k dps so dark asta is still much much better in fact most units when you consider this column right here which is limit dps which is basically the no, how much dps they do multiplied by how many you can place down so since you can place four astas down he has a cap out of about 35.6 K DPS for four Astas. They're going to cost a lot, right? They're going to cost like uh, 100, 240K to max. But my point is the unit uh, is not that great for most players. And I will give you the single exception of when Julius is amazing. <laughs> Get ready for it. Julius is the best unit in the game when you roll unique on him because he's a single unit with the highest DPS and highest damage in the game. If you were to get lucky as enough to get unique trait on Julius, he would Julius wizard King would be the highest DPS unit in the game. Even the highest cap DPS, he would be absolutely insane. So, you know, good luck. Toad Boy, King is a cutie, all you psychos who decide to uh, spend insane amounts of Robux. I spent 50,000 Robux in this game on traits, and guess what I got? I got Reaper. So I have chosen to never again spend money on this game until they fix their trait system. I think it's garbage. I think it needs to be reworked, especially because things like Golden are actually... I mean, why is it a thing that you can actually get Golden in this game? Uh, it's just ridiculous. Or why why is golden the same rarity as divine? I I mean golden as a trait isn't bad, but it shouldn't be a mythical. It certainly shouldn't be the same rarity as uh as like gold or as divine. That's for sure. Let's uh I have not been paying attention here. Might lose. I'll have to go play from the back here in just a second. Do we? Or maybe I just play... Maybe I just play like one of these here. Oh, we We can do all this, I just... Not when I'm not paying attention. The uh, Legend Stage 3 is kind of hard. Uh, it is the first... This is kind of the first point at which, in my opinion, penetration could be semi-useful is in this map right here because there is both physical and magical resistance units in Legend Stage 3. Um, but rather than doing worrying about penetration, honestly, I would just still worry about uh, getting the power stats, the percentage power stats on your physical or magical, and then just having a variety of magic and physical damage units in uh In your inventory i think that's probably going to be the better way to actually complete this this map but it will be quite hard especially if you're trying to like uh, solo it and definitely will be pretty rough now let's talk about um the last thing i want to talk about with julius is that he does have an active ability it's called like chronostasis or maybe it's called time walk i don't i don't remember but basically what it does is it makes the enemy units walk backwards for four seconds all right now that is kind of a cool uh, ability that it's got a cooldown of a uh, 90 seconds so every minute and a half you're going to be able to make the enemies walk backwards for four seconds now that's that's a pretty cool ability it's very useful certainly and it does make him more valuable but 
Um, I would say unless you have like a friend that has, it's just, he's very expensive of a unit, right? And he doesn't offer that much. I would say that in like an infinite leaderboard run, you definitely are going to want him still, but you're also going to want like Gojo just for his time stop ability. You know, you, you can always just be popping unlimited void just like that. And Gojo's, you can use unlimited void every 60 seconds. So Gojo has a smaller timer and it this lasts for like eight seconds or something versus, um, <clears throat> versus Julius's, which only lasts about four seconds. So that is uh, Julius's ability it um it also i'm trying to remember i think it does uh deal damage but i don't remember the amount that it deals an aoe dot of so it deals his full damage in and damage to all the units so that's good too it's like basically he gets because he's such a high damaging unit you know uh going back to what what his damage is he's basically going to be dealing this 110k damage or if you know if you got some uh if you boosted him with like superior or something like that he's going to deal that to everything on the map for those as a dot so it's, it's going to deal the damage basically four times as they walk backwards for four seconds um yeah like i said in my opinion he's he's still not going to be worth it especially in like 15 to 20 wave runs you could bring him is maybe even just a place down, but I wouldn't recommend upgrading him all the max. That's a lot of money to get him up. Now in infinite runs or something, if you're running for like leaderboard runs uh, with your friends, then you're definitely going to want to have a uh, Julius. And ideally you get a Julius that has unique on it, because like I said, then it does become the penultimate, you know, the most valuable unit in the game, basically once, once he reaches that point, but not before then, I think, uh, I think Bands has... Did you already place uh, Julius down? We can look at his attack animations. I haven't really seen them, to be honest. Are we even going to be okay down back here? Better make sure that I have enough upgrades. Physical. Do you have magic damage right here? Nope. I'll just go... I'll just get a Prana up, I guess. But yeah, as far as like meta viability, I would say you're definitely still going to want to go for like, you know, or Asta before. Uh, maybe even Lucky, since Lucky is limited. He does have some pretty good value once he's... Once you apply his self buff to himself, which is like uh, like 25%, then he does... Um, you can see if we apply his 25% buff to him at all times, then he's like at 8.7k DPS. So he's very good once he has his 25% applied. But he has to remain attacking. So he buffs himself 5% each attack up to 25%, but he still still needs to keep attacking there for that to be uh, applicable. Anyway, anyways, guys, that's Julius. I hope I wish you all better luck in getting uh, the Wizard King than i'd had unfortunately hopefully we get uh some better luck here towards the end everyone should be going for you know and asta and then you know uh, the other units i would say lucky lucky you want to pick up at some point if you can during this update before he goes away and then yami is not super valuable because his aoe his line is very thin uh and his dps isn't amazing uh, he does do true damage, so he kind of ignores the resistances on units, but only in, I think, his last two uh, upgrades. So before that, again, still not amazing. And then, yeah, Julius. Julius is, again, for maybe his ability, he might be worth it because I do believe he gets it right when he's placed down, uh, once he's evolved. But uh, if he doesn't get it until this upgrade, then... That would be 29,000. That's going to be a lot different. But it's 10k placement to actually put him down, it looks like. Um, 
So it's, that's still pretty expensive just to even get him down to start. Uh, you know, and at that point, man, he has really awful value on DPS at that point. So I guess you do kind of have to invest a little bit into him to make him... Oh, no, wait. This 90 SPA, I think that's... That is his cooldown. That's not his actual SPA, my bad. Yeah, there you go. That's his uh, active cooldown. All right, well, that there you have it. That is Julius, the Wizard King. Um, like I said, good luck to those of you who are trying to roll unique on him because if you do get unique on that unit, uh, it will be absolutely cracked. But other than that, I say... If you were newer, I would definitely recommend going for someone like Gojo, Asta, uh, Yuta, Yuno. Those units are going to be much more valuable for you in the in those types. In in a much wider range of situations, they're going to be much more valuable for you guys. Anyways, that's it for me. Malo, Albito, thanks for watching. Peace out of here.